get started and recognizing the Lady Mohawk basketball players from the class of 2022. Our first senior is Hadley Ross. Hadley is the daughter of Jonathan Ross, Heather Ross, and Anthony Frosty Thomas. She's being escorted by Heather and Frosty. Hadley is a three-time varsity letter winner for the Lady Mohawks. Hadley's other activities have included volleyball, cross country, and track. She is also a member of the Student Council, the National Honor Society, and Sunshine Society. Hadley and her sister Hallie, who you will meet in just a few moments, are currently running neck to neck towards the finish line to see who will be ranked first academically in the class of 2022. Hadley's post-high school plans include attending a yet undecided university to earn a Bachelor of Science degree, then attend dental school to become an orthodontist. Hadley's favorite basketball memory is when Frosty, that would be Coach Thomas, um, decided he could beat me in a down and back at practice. So we raced and he ended up falling flat on his face. <laughs> I won it. It wasn't even close. <laughs> there is video of this that will be posted on all social media outlets soon. <laughs> Hadley's most proud basketball accomplishment is being ranked number one in the ICGSA Class 1A poll. She simply stated, it's just crazy. Her advice to underclassmen and future and future Lady Mohawks is to not get stressed out ab about games or beat yourself up about bad games. It's so much better if you're just having fun. When asked <laughs> who she would like to thank, she stated all, all of the coaches should actually be thanking us for being the funniest people they've ever had the joy of coaching. But seriously, thank you to the best coaching staff and the biggest thanks to my teammates. I love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, number 12, Hadley Bross. <laughs> Got to get my glasses on. Uh -oh. Our second senior is Mackenzie Shaw. <laughs> Kenzie is being escorted by her parents, John and Lori Shaw. Kenzie is a three-time varsity letter winner for the Mohawks. Her other activities include volleyball, tennis, the National Honor Society, Student Council, Sunshine Society, and the All-A Honor Roll. She is ranked number four academically in the class of 2022. Her post-high school plans are to attend IUPUI to major in nursing and to eventually become a pediatric nurse. When asked what her favorite basketball memories were, she said that beating Trenton Central twice was number one. And I have no idea what this is, <laughs> but the Crest Lake incident at 2021 summer basketball camp was a rather close second. Right. Her most proud moments were winning back-to-back -back Mid Hoosier Conference championships and beating Triton Central to win the Shelby, Shelby County Tournament Championships. Her advice to underclassmen and future Lady Mohawks is to just have fun and enjoy it. Ken's would like to thank her Thank her family for always supporting her. Supporting her. Thanks to Cody, Rodney, Phil, and Ilea for being the best hype men and woman out there. To Roger for always giving me a, me new mottos to follow. The example that she provided was hashtag LTFF, and you will have to ask her what that means. And to Willis, which is Coach Thomas, for helping me manage everything. And of course, a big thank you to all of my teammates. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, number 14, Mackenzie Shaw. <laughs> Next up is Hallie Ross. Hallie is the daughter of Jonathan Ross, Heather Ross, and Anthony Frosty Thomas. She is being escorted tonight by her mother and John. Hallie, Hallie is a two-time varsity letter winner for the Lady Mohawks. Hallie's other activities include cross-country and track. She is a member of the Sunshine Society, Student Council, 
and the president of the National Honor Society. As mentioned earlier, she is running neck to neck with her twin sister, Hadley, to see who ends up with the number one academic ranking in the class of 2022. Hallie's post high school plans are to, to attend a yet decided college to major in either biology or psychology and then attending medical school to earn her doctorate in psychiatry. Her favorite basketball memory is getting to play her favorite sport with her sisters and her pregame fights with junior Josie Larison. Her proudest moments have been beating Triton Central twice in the same season and learning skills before games. I had to ask what the skills were, and they were cool tricks and dance moves. Her advice to underclassmen and future Lady Mohawks is to always play as a team, have fun, and make memories. Allie would like to thank her coaches for putting in so much time and her teammates for making this season one to remember. Number 25, Allie Ross. Next senior is Megan Bogeman. <laughs> Megan is being escorted by her parents, Tim and Melanie Bogan, Bogeman. Megan is a four-year varsity letter winner for the Lady Mohawks. Her other activities include volleyball, tennis, National Honor Society, Student Council, Sunshine Society, and a member of the Athletic Advisory Board. <clears throat> She is on the A-Ron roll and is ranked third academically in the class of 2022. She is also a 10-year member of 4-H. Post-graduation, Megan will be attending Purdue University while majoring in speech, language, and hearing sciences to become a speech, a speech pathologist. Later, she intends to start a family and begin making bank so she can pay for all of her shoes. Her favorite basketball memories are kicking coach Cody Sullivan's butt and pig before every game, and the look on Anthony's face the time a brawl pad fell out on the court during practice and no one claimed it. <laughs> her proudest basketball accomplishment was earning the right to have her name on a banner that will hang in the gym forever. Megan's advice to under, underclassmen and future Lady Mohawks is to cherish the moments before they go, before they go by so fast, and to always have fun and enjoy the little things. Megan would like to thank God for this opportunity, her family for always supporting her, and her teammates for making memories with her that will last a lifetime. She would like to give a special thanks to all of the coaches who have had to deal with all of our mental breakdowns throughout the years. Even though they were clueless on what to do, but it was nice to know the support was still there. Number 21, Megan Bogeman. <laughs> our fifth senior is Shelby Fuel. Shelby is being escorted by her parents, Tangedy and Chris Fuel. Shelby is a three-time varsity letter winner for the Lady Mohawks. Her other activities have included track for two years, volleyball for three years, basketball all four years, and Sunshine Society all four years. After graduation, Shelby will leave for the military again for more training. When she comes back, she plans on attending college for criminal justice, which is a family tradition, and then plans, and then her plans will go from there. Her favorite basketball mem memory was the time she accidentally hit Willis's butt, that's Coach Thomas, and told him, let's go after a timeout. She thought it was one of her teammates. <laughs> her proudest accomplishments have been winning back-to-back -back MHC championships, beating Triton Central, not once but twice, uh, winning the Shelby County Tournament and earning the right to have my name on a banner in the gym. Shelby's advice to underclassmen and future Lady Mohawks is to always avoid on ca eye contact with the coach after a mistake. And Shelby would like to thank all of her coaches, teammates, and parents for all the years of putting up with her and never letting her quit. Number 23, Shelby Fuel. 
Our sixth senior is Nicole Garner. Nicole is being escorted by her parents, William and Michelle Garner. Nicole is a four-time varsity letter winner for the Lady Mohawks. Next, other in activities include volleyball, tennis, Sunshine Society, Student Council, National Honor Society, and the All-A Honor Roll. She is ranked fifth academically, academically in the class of 2022. 20, her plans after graduation are to attend IUPUI, majoring in psychology. Nicole's favorite basketball memory is the team's hip hip hooray chant after every win, and her prou proudest moment is beating Triton Central not once, but twice. Her advice to upcoming Lady Mohawks is to always have fun. Nicole would like to thank her parents, her coaches, and her teammates. She also would like to thank Roger for always being her hype man, and Ilea for always being a BB. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, number four, 24, Nicole Garner. Our seventh and final senior is Bella Larison. Bella is being escorted by her parents, Isaac and Alyssa Larison. Bella is a four-time varsity letter winner in basketball. Her other activities include previously being a member of the cross country and track teams. She is president of the student council, a member of the National Honor Society, Sunshine Society, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and her church youth group. Bella is ranked in the top 10 academically in the class of 2022. After high school, she plans on attending college to major in business, business management or health sciences. In the future, she wants to marry and become a stay-at-home mom, which was followed by a smiley face. <laughs> Bella's favorite basketball memory is getting to play with her sister, junior Josie Larison, and the dance shows in the locker room before every game. Bella's proudest basketball memories are the success of this year's team and all of the team records that have been broken, and there are too many to list, and back-to-back conference championships and the first Shelby County Championship in 12 years. On a, personal, on a personal note, she is proud to have made her way into the top 10 all-time Lady Mohawk scoring list. Her advice to underclassmen and future Lady Mohawks is to not put a ton of pressure on yourself. Enjoy it because it goes by fast. Bella would like to thank her parents, teammates, and particularly to the coaches for dealing with her tears of inner frustration. Ladies and gentlemen, number 32, Bella Larison. As a group, let's give them one last round of applause. In my humble opinion, this is the best grouping of, of seniors in the history of Lady Mohawk basketball. <laughs> One more team member who is participating in their last home regular season game. I guess you could call him a fifth-year senior. I'm speaking of head coach Anthony Thomas. <laughs> Anthony will be joined on the floor by his wife, Heather, his children, Lindsay, Lauren, Matthew, Hadley, Hallie, Grace, and his granddaughter, Hayden. He probably would have wanted her named first. Coach Thomas will also be joined by some of his former players, if you could head this way now, former coaches he's coached with and coaches he has been an assistant for. I also know that Anthony mentioned earlier he has brothers here. And I hope they will come forward if they haven't already.
we'll get the hugs out of the way here, and uh, I'll give the script I put together for him. Okay, this could take a while. I'll go ahead. Anthony is a, is a Waldron alumnus, graduating in 1992. He was involved in coaching elementary and junior high boys before coming to the girls program in 2009. In fact, he assisted John Shaw in coaching these seven seniors and others when they were in the third grade in the Shelbyville Parks Department League. Anthony worked his way up through the ranks, being named the Lady Mohawk basketball head coach for the 2017-18 season. Over the five seasons he's been at the helm, he has accumulated a record of 77 and 36, which is a 68% winning percentage, and that is the best of any coach in Lady Mohawk history. He has led the Lady Mohawks to two Mid-Hoosier Conference Championships, both of which were undefeated, and one Shelby County Tournament Championship. He's been named the Shelbyville News Coach of the Year on one occasion and twice the Mid-Hoosier Conference Coach of the Year. He has also led the Lady Mohawks to their first and current ranking of number one in 1A, first in history of being ranked number one. I know this is probably making him uncomfortable, so we will end with that. With Coach Thomas, I do want to say it's all about the players. I know at times the players probably don't think that, but I know in my talks with Anthony that that is a fact. Coach Thomas does things the right way, what I have always called the Lady Mohawk way. He respects his players, and his players respect him. He demands respect for the school, respect for, for teammates, respect for opponents, and that each player respects themselves. The product on the floor is always a class aspiration, always clean, always sportsmanlike. Anthony, I will always be indebted to you for that. Thank you for putting LMB back on the map. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Thomas. Thank you very much for your patience. I know this was lengthy, but you have a wonderful group of people, everybody out there on that floor. And Let's get behind them as they go into the next part of their season where legacies are created. Thank you very much. We ask that you please stand as we honor our great nation in the playing of the national anthem. Tonight will be performed by Mrs. Lori Shaw.